we have very important property of path connected space from the point of examination let's der derive that we have the statement like uh, if we are considering any two topological space x and y then the cross product of x and y that is x cross y will be path connected if and only if x and y are path connected the same theorem we have proved uh, in the concept of locally connected space similarly we need to prove in path connected space also so here if and only if condition so direct part as well as connors part we need to prove so let us consider x cross y be a path connected space again we'll be using projection mapping concept to prove this we need to prove x and y are path connected since the projection maps as you know projection maps will be divided like, derived like px from x cross y to capital x and py will be again from x cross y to capital y as you know these projection maps are always continuous and onto also continuous image of a path connected space is a path connected space that we have proved in our last video right therefore px of x cross y to x is there right and px py of x cross y to y x cross y is path connected whenever we are applying the function fx as well as fy we'll get fx of that that which is x and fy of x cross y which is y will be path connected therefore x and y are path connected because x cross y is path connected very simple proof let's prove the converse part for this we need to consider x and y are path connected space to prove x cross y is path connected for this uh we need to prove x cross y no so ordered pair uh, x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2 and be any two points of x cross y then this x1 and x2 belongs to capital x y1 and y2 belongs to capital y x1 x2 y1 y2 because these are the ordinates of x cross y right so x1 and x2 belongs to capital x y1 and y2 belongs to capital y since here the hypothesis is x and y are individually path connected therefore x1 comma x2 can be joined by a path in what capital x similarly y1 and y2 can be joined by a path in what capital y because x and y both are the path connected space that is there exist 
a continuous function f from i to x such that f of 0 equal to x1 f of 1 equal to x2 this is for x and similarly there exists a continuous function i am considering other function g from i to y because i is also path connected space such that g of 0 equal to y1 and g of 1 will be equal to y2 now we need to combine all these two so i need to define another function i am considering h from i2 need to prove for x cross y right so i2 x cross y by h of t equal to f of t comma g of t the ordered pair f of t comma g of t because so the term x cross y is there no ordered pair should be considered f of t comma g of t for all this t belongs to what capital i as you know f and g are continuous so h consists of to continuous function ordered pair with that that's why this h will be continuous so let us find out the value of h of 0 and h of 1 h of 0 h of t is nothing but the ordered pair f of t comma g of t in the place of t we have 0 because t belongs to capital i what's the value of f of 0 f of 0 is x1 and what is the value of g of 0 which is y1 similarly h of 1 will be equal to f of 1 and g of 1 so again the value of f of 1 is x2 g of 1 value is y2 therefore h is a path in x cross y running from h of 0 to h of 1 h of 0 is x1 comma y1 and uh, h of 2 is sorry h of 1 will be x2 comma y2 h of 0 h of 1 sorry. thus concluding for any two points x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2 in x cross y there exists a path h we have considered in x cross y such that h of 0 equal to the ordered pair x1 comma y1 h of 1 will be equal to the ordered pair x2 comma y2 therefore x cross y is a path connected space this proves the result